Consider this. You publish a new version of your AWS Lambda function, which is integrated with the Amazon API Gateway. For rollout, you're thinking of using the Canary deployment strategy. So the new version of the API gets deployed slowly to a subset of users for risk mitigation. Can you even do this using the API Gateway? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function, then give your function a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, click on create function, then scroll down to the code source section. I'm going to change the return statement to version one string, then hit deploy. Click on test to configure your test event, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function. Looks like our function is working as expected. Next, head to the versions tab and click on publish new version. I'm going to call this version v1, then hit publish. Next, head back to the latest version and scroll down to the code source section. This time, I'm going to update the return statement to version two, then hit deploy. Test your Lambda function to confirm it's working as expected then navigate back to the versions tab. Let's publish our second version, then go back to the versions tab to confirm that you have two published versions. Now, let's head to the API gateway service, then click on create API. Click on build in the rest API section, give your API a name, then hit create. From the actions dropdown, select create method, then pick get. Leave the integration type to lambda function, then copy paste the function ARN of the first version of our lambda function. Hit save, then click test to confirm that you see version one in the response body. Let's deploy this API by going to the actions dropdown, then hit deploy. I'm going to create a new deployment stage and call it QA, then click on deploy. Click on the invoke URL and confirm that you see version one in your browser's output. Next, head to the Canary tab and click on create Canary. Here, I'm going to update the percentages to 50-50 because I want the traffic to split evenly between version one and version two of my Lambda function. Next, navigate back to the get method execution screen and go inside integration request. Here, I'm going to copy paste the function ARN of the second version of my Lambda function. Click on test to confirm that our API is now successfully pointing to version two of our Lambda function. Next, Go to the Actions dropdown and click on Deploy API. For deployment stage, choose QA with Canary enabled, then hit Deploy. Click on the Invoke URL, then hit Refresh bunch of times to confirm that the traffic is successfully being split evenly between version 1 and version 2. Now that our version 2 is working as expected, let's promote our Canary or version 2 to QA. Click on Promote Canary, then hit Update, and you should see the percentage of requests directed to QA should change to 100%. Give it a few minutes for the change to propagate, then head back to the Invoke URL. Hit Refresh a bunch of times and confirm that all traffic is now being routed to version 2. There you have it, but before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a ladder to Amazon API Gateway?